Hello, everybody. Guess who's back from Japan? Um, yes, me, obviously. Uh, as you can probably see on your screen right now, um, I have a pile of stuff. Um, so this month, <clears throat> instead of recapping the lack of anime and manga, the lack of anime that I've watched this month because I've been away, we will go through the tower of stuff that I purchased while I was in Japan. Uh, I feel like that's a good enough um, weeb cap for the uh, for the month. So I bought Mimikyu t-shirt. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I believe I picked that one up at a donkey store. Don keep quick key joke or however you say it. Um, I've got a black rock shooter t-shirt. Uh, this one I. Really Picked up in Akihabara from, oh, where, what store? I don't know. One of the multi-level stores. So, um, we have a whole live uh, a polka. Uh, I guess it's a desk mat, mouse pad kind of thing. I picked up a lot of Hololive stuff, as we'll see as we get into this. As you can probably see, some of the figures and stuff I bought as well. Um, I did do a lot of non-weeby stuff while I was in Japan as well. Um, I uh, did a lot of hiking and walking around, visiting castles and parks and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we got a nice polka mat. Um, not my Oshi. Ah. Stack of stuff, but uh, definitely still one of my... I like all the Hololive members, but... It's hard to say that anyone is my favourite favourite, but I don't know. I like them all. Polka is a very cool member, so let's put her down here for a sec. Um, I did visit the Pokemon Centre in Ikebukuro. Uh, and I got the Wormagod, Wormadam, the Goat, this isn't working, my desk is a mess by the way, well, I mean, as you can tell, there's a whole stack of stuff here, but, but yes, uh, yeah, that's the Wormagoat right there. Mm. Um, I also visited, um, there was like a Gachapon store in the same building as the Pokemon Center in Aki, Abra, uh, sorry, no, in uh, Ikebukuro, um, which I did go in there. It's like the biggest Gachapon in the world. Um, this is a Hololive one. This is... Uh, these ones are both vending machine, I believe. Ah, I thought I got the bear in one of these, and I went and got another one, but maybe I just saw the uh, picture on the back, but... Uh, this camera is quite overexposed, isn't it?
haven't used this camera a lot. But I mean, it's also from this light just being directly onto things in front of it as well, I think. But, yep. So it's Lamus from Vending Machine. And uh, obviously it's got the main character from the vending machine in the back there as well. And another Lamus one too, so that's pretty neat. It'd have been nice to get the actual vending machine one too, but... But I've got that one and that one, so... Not going to complain about that. <clears throat> and then this one was like a Cora Hololive vending machine as well. Uh, gotcha. And... <clears throat> what is that, like a... Parrot cannon with Cora in it, and also with Toa in it as well. So, definitely some nice grabs. They were not the cheapest, but I'm not going to complain too much. Da, da. Um, so that looks like the characters that I can get from this box on the top here. Uh, so we got Robico, Mitsuri, Subaru, Brony, Marine, Polka, and Iroha. And I guess we'll see which one out of those that we get. Look at that, it's Polka. Let's go with the, the, the mat that I got, which is pretty cool. How about that? Um, so yeah, as you can see, I definitely got quite a few uh, just random gatchery things as well another one here uh, it looks like you can get sora uh um fucking why am i blanking mio lammy and he's Wow, that is so bad. Um, so we say that's it. Luckily, I can read here again, so I read that in the back. But um, yeah, she's a pretty big one as well. She's a really good singer. And it looks like I got a uh, microphone, juice box, and I guess that's a lolly gummy. Kind of thing. Okay, so this isn't a one that you're guaranteed to get a character. Which is kind of sad. I got uh, Sui Se's uh, juice box and microphone, so that's a bit of a bust, but okay. Um. I got a Rimuru figure, which I picked up from Book Off, uh, which is like a second-hand store. <clears throat> which um, has some... cheap stuff. Uh, you can definitely get some decent models for cheap. Is Rimuru meant to be holding this or what? I guess so, maybe. Doesn't come with instructions uh, because this is second hand, so 
Who really knows? I'll figure it out. Maybe he holds it like that. Actually, I think it probably looks like it might just go into the base. That makes sense too, I guess. Rimuru from uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. Which was... That only cost me like... Less than... Yeah, like eight bucks. Nine dollars. Nine dollars, something like that. So, like, it's obviously not the most expensive model to begin with. Um... I got this little Gardevoir as well. I can't remember which store I bought that from, but... You know, gotta get Gardevoir. Um, but yeah, so definitely, if you're in Japan, look for book-offs. Because you can definitely find some cheap models. Uh, you can get some... Bulk manga, relatively cheap as well. So this is uh, the first seven volumes of uh, of Bookworm. Which is a pretty cool series. Um, but only 1,700 yen, which is pretty cheap when the books normally retail for about, uh, 450-ish yen each to begin with. So, yeah, I definitely, um, got some manga to try and, um... Practice my Japanese with as well. Uh, another seven chapters this time. It's Baburi. Which is neat. So I'll get them on my bookshelf and I'll give them a read at some point. Um, I guess I'll, I, I went to the, uh, Warhammer store uh, and cafe in Tokyo in Akihabara as well. Uh, I picked up this because I wanted to get one of these anyway. And um, yeah, I was in there, so I may as well. And I did also pick up the mini of the month while I was in Japan last month as well. So I don't miss out on that even though I was away. So uh, this one I picked up from the Hachikawa Warhammer store. Oh god, there's still so much stuff to go through. Okay, let's just go through this manga. I picked up uh, chapter one of Harimiya, uh, which is nice. Uh, Rom-com, slice of life kind of manga. Uh, the anime is great as well. Um, and it's good because even in the manga, like the kanjis and everything have the furigana as well. So that'll help with me trying to learn, practice uh, my Japanese as well. Um, I did see, like, this series in Book Off super cheap as well like the whole series but i already purchased chapter one so i didn't go and buy all of them um chapter one of miriko chan who is a girl that sees ghosts whatnot uh the not as easy to read because all the fear gunner is not yeah, for all the kanjis either, but um, not bad for a horror series. 
chapter one of uh what is it called restaurant to another world as it says up the top here uh which does have the fear gunner as well so that's going to be useful that's a fun little slice of life as well um i also bought the first three chapters of freyron which does also have Fury Gunner uh, for the Kanjis as well, which is nice. Um, chapter one of solo leveling. I've already read all of the Manhua, but looks like there's Fury Gunner in this one as well. So that's pretty cool. And it's all color, which is nice. So, definitely some good pickups there. Um, also, one of my uh, favorite like Twitter mangas uh, is pretty cool. The guy she was interested in wasn't a guy at all. Doesn't look like this is for a gunner, but that's all right. It's some very nice art. Very, very cute book. So. Uh, and then I picked up a couple of mangas for series I haven't read or anything either. Um, but this one looked interesting. The Alien Who Saved Me From My Mother's Abuse Becomes My True Mother. Sounds like it could be... Um, I don't know what you'd call that. A nice, uh, uh, depressing into redemption or something like that, you know. Uh, and then you buy Idol and her manager, which looks like it's got some pretty cool art and stuff as well. So, yeah, that's all the manga I picked up to start putting on my on my on my bookshelf. Um, happy with that. Uh, should I go? Oh. Uh, I needed something to carry all my extra coins around because they were starting to fill up my wallet. So I saw this in a book off somewhere as well, I think. Um, and it's just a little coin pouch. Still got some of my Japanese yen in there. So that the next time I go back, I guess. Uh, should I go through the models or should I go through this pile of random stuff? I guess we'll go through the models and get them out of the way. Uh, we've got Keon from um, Reincarnated as a Slime as well. Uh, I guess I'll take her out the box. I don't know if I've got to put her together or what, but I haven't, I haven't looked inside any of these model boxes that I've got yet or anything. Um, but yeah, this one, this one was only a thousand yen. Most of these ones that I've got here, I think were about that price or less. So can definitely pick up some, I mean, I think like it's a, it's a few hundred yen less than what you would get. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to put it together just yet on stream because there's still so much stuff to go through. But, um, um, but yeah, you can definitely get some cheaper, cheaper stuff from Book Ops if you look around, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we've got Xion from um, Reincarnated as a Slime. Uh, we got Subaru uh, from Hololive, the uh, Relax Time model, and that was a thousand yen as well. Uh, the rest of the models that I got are all, all they're all Relax Time ones, I believe, uh, and all Hololive. Uh, we got um, Pachma for uh, five hundred yen here. We have Mel for 500 yen as well. Uh, 
we have Mori, Calliope, uh, 1,000 yen. And then we got Mio, who was uh, 1,600 yen. So, yeah, pretty nice, those pickups. Uh, they'll look very weeby on my shelf. Um, but what can you do? Whole Alive booster packs. Whole Alive booster packs. Um, which I don't know if I'll open just yet. Uh, we got Dryron booster packs, which. I guess all that stuff can open at some point. I don't know where I got that card from, but um, I think that was in like a Pokemon candy thing, and that's the card I got, unfortunately. But whereas I did some Hollow Live candy, there was like some wafer biscuit where you get a card and a wafer biscuit, and there was one that was a like some gummy lollies or something as well the gummy lolly ones i got brony in and the wafer one i got bjo in um i'm trying to look for the pokemon card that i found in a park i was just walking around and i found a pokemon card lying on the ground in the park and it was a Screamtail um, Screamtail EX I can't see where I put it but oh well it'll turn up I'm sure at some point um, I got some Risu Hololive card sleeves so I guess I can put those cards in when I eventually open these packs all up Whenever that'll be. We got some Hollow Live badges. Oh, there it is. There's the screen down, that one. I found this one just lying on the ground in a park, so I picked it up. Uh, it was very, very curved. As you can tell, it is still got a bit of a curve to it, but it was so much worse. I flattened it out quite a lot. Um, yeah, I've got some Hololive badges. Uh, I think some of these I picked up from Animate, some of these I picked up from Book Offs, but um, yeah, I'll open them in a sec. I got myself a new paintbrush, which uh, it looked like it had a super nice point. So we'll see how that goes when I start painting again. Ah, oh, yes, Pokemon Center. I did go to the Pokemon Center. I didn't get a whole heap. I got that Wormadam um, plushie, and then I got uh, Larry Pokemon Trainer stickers. I got uh, a Toad Scroll sticker, and I got some Pumpkaboo and Gardevoir. Oh, sorry, not Gardevoir, um, Gorgeist. Got Gardevoir in the brain, it's sitting here in front of me. Um little clips so pretty neat there oh, no, 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 no. speaking of what am i speaking of uh some more hollow live merch uh got a coaster got a another uh key thing here Polka, uh, one of Noel. Oh, definitely picked up a lot of weeby shit, didn't I? <clears throat> um, I found some cool little. Oh, I got a Mel one as well. So I found some cool stationary stuff 
at a donkey somewhere. Oh, got another Watamare. Um, so we've got Blake seals, whatever they are. I think they're like just sticking on envelopes and they're meant to like break off when you open the envelope or something like that. Um, some stickers, some stickers and some stickers. So pretty neat collection of session there. Uh, these are like some highlighters or markers or something like that. You've got double thickness. We've got the Squirtle ones and the uh, Ditto ones, Metamon and Zenigami. Um, I got these stickers in just some random Pokemon themed food that I found at a supermarket. Uh, this one was in like a Ua Coco cake, um, strawberry cake, st strawberry sponge cake or something like that. Uh, this one was in just some light little Pokemon lolly or something like that, but we are friends forever. Very cool. Um, and then there was some V Shoujo merch at Animate. Uh, I got a Kason pen. Some V Shoujo stickers. We got Mel, we got Henya, we got Kason, and we got Fruit. Uh, I did get these postcards as. Um, whatever, they've at least showed you as well, Kuro and Giga. Um, and we've got, I think, just a lucky dip of, it feels like a badge as well. And we've got... Is she's like the one I don't know the name of at the moment. This is um Matara Matara something like that. Uh, she's cool as well, but I don't watch her a lot yet. Also got some B side label stickers. Uh, it's the ones that I picked up at the airport just to spend some of my last yen. Um, some cool designs. This is an interesting penguin. Uh, and then I did go to actual B-Side label store, one of the B-Side label stores earlier. And bought a bunch of stickers from there as well, mostly Pokemon ones. I say mostly Pokemon ones, but uh, they gave this one to me as a gift for, I don't know, just spending money there, I guess. Uh, we got a uh, buff shark, which is pretty, pretty funny. Uh, and then, yeah, just a handful of Pokemon stickers as well. Got the legendary birds. The original evolution, Snorlax, Muse, Ditto, and Wigglytuff. So, yeah, outside of opening those packs, that's pretty much all the Weeb stuff that I bought while I was over in Japan. Um, yeah, spent a decent amount of money, but got a lot of cool stuff, I guess. Um, Super good trip. Had a lot of fun. Um, buying Weeby stuff was probably the most Weeby thing I did. Um, but I did uh, see a lot of sites and had a lot of fun out there. Um, all those pictures, all the main pictures are up on Instagram. Uh, but yeah. So, I don't know. I'll get around to opening those booster packs at some point uh i guess i will i guess i can open these badges now and see what whole life character badges i get 
Hopefully no duplicates. We get Iris, okay. We get Mume, okay. As you can see over here, I uh, have Mume on one of my many screens. So happy with that one, that's for sure. Now, doesn't look like I can get in a, in any of these ones that I picked. Oh, yes, I can. In this yellow one here, I can. So let's hope for an Ina in that one because she is my top fave. Uh, we get Luna. <clears throat> she is unfortunately probably one of the ones that I watched the least. But, and of course that's the one that I get twice, okay. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, uh, let's get an Ina to balance that out. And we get a Guru, okay. I mean, look. That's fine, that's fine. But yeah, okay, so that is basically my weeb cap of... Uh, this month so thank you for watching everyone it's been a solid 30 minutes of me just going through all my random purchases while I was in Japan so thank you for watching everyone and I will catch you all soon peace